Good evening, good evening, families and friends. Good evening to you all. Good evening. This good evening to the body of Christ. Blessed Friday evening to you all. Wonderful people on trusting going in our generation on YouTube. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Most High God. I come to greet you this evening, families and friends. Whatever you are, I bring good news to you this evening. That may God Almighty, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, who is the author and finisher of our faith, bless and guide us and protect us against every place of the enemy, against forces of darkness, against spiritual wickedness, families and friends. Our God is a good God. He never fails, He never changes. I'm talking the birth, the birth of Jesus Christ is even to you. The birth of Jesus Christ is the message I bring to you. Father, I bless your people. I'm trusting going in our generation. I lift them up to you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, it's all about you, O oh God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it's all about you. The compliment of the season to you all is all about Jesus that we are celebrating. Brothers and sisters, his birth, his death, his restoration that we are celebrating in this month. So we tell God, thank you for him coming to die on the cross of, Cal on the cross of Calvary for you and I that we'll have eternal life, that we'll have a relationship with God, that we'll have a, a stewardship with him. Brothers and sisters, we want to take or thank you for the blood of Jesus that have been shared. He, that's, that blood heals and set the captive free. We want to bless God for the blood of Jesus that have been shared on the cross of Calvary since 2,000 years ago. And so Father, I lift up my hands and say thank you, Father, for who you are. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for opening doors. Thank you for making way out of nowhere. Thank you for canceling the evil place of the enemy. Praise the party, the power of darkness be canceled. We break every yoke or set on against our life, against our future, against our our our, our our marriage against our destiny, against our vision and dreams, against our our health in the name of Jesus. I bless you not only in you are covered this whole us with the blood of Jesus. I want to take thank you for your presence. I want to take thank you for your spirit. I want to thank you for love. I want to thank you for peace. Be that exalted, be that magnified, be that glorified. You will never fail, you never change. Now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for Thanksgiving. Amen and amen. <coughs> I'm going to read for you about the breath of Jesus Christ this evening, Father. As the word is coming unto your people, bless every soul that has subscribed on this platform. What's it what they are? Father God, I don't know them by their names. You know them by names. You know them by family. Thank you, O God, for them supporting this platform. The likes, the liking the videos, the comments. That Thank you, O God, for the comments they are making on the videos. Thank you, Father, for bringing for your people who support this platform in every way. The charity, your people, and the and what and the mission of God, I say thank you and I bless your name, O God. Let me decree you go increase as the word is coming forth, O Father. Bless the love of your people, bless the youth, and bless every parents, every child, you and all. Bless every one that tried by L and C. You are the pilot to the plane, you are the view, you are the driver to the vehicle, the captain to the boat, O God, and the subway, the train, and and the and the ferry. The ferry. You are the one, O oh God, that is driving the vehicle or the motorcycles, everything. Be with your people, be with the doctors and nurses in the hospital. Be with those, O oh Father, who are in the world, O oh God, the homeless people, the widow, the handicapped, the couples. We thank thinking for the children, the youth, the, the single mothers, single fathers. We bless you, O oh God, for parents. We thank you, O oh God, for pregnant women in the hospital. God, you will make them deliver safely by your grace and your power. Be that exalted, be that mighty Father. Take your glory now in Jesus' mighty name, pray. Amen and amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Families and friends, I'm talking about the breath of Jesus Christ. So just join me this evening as the word is coming. Just listen to it with me as I read to you about from the book of Matthew. One. Matthew chapter one for 18 to 25 reads. Now the breath of Jesus Christ took place in this way. How did it take place in this way? Because it took place in a way that when Mary had been bestowed to Joseph, it took place in a way that when Mary was given out to Joseph to be married, brothers and sisters, to Joseph, before she came together, she was formed to be with a child from the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, help me. The Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters, visited the Virgin Mary and blessed her womb. We are sad we are child who is the savior of the world, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. She was conceived by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost came upon her and she conceived with a child in her womb, the savior of the world. That name was what? Emmanuel God with us. The name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He was born in, G in Nazareth, in Bethlehem. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. And then, <coughs> And then, as I read, 
she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame. Being a just man, her husband Joseph was a just, just man. Just man, but then he will take it about putting her aside in shame, without shame. Putting her aside alone is a shame. He was unwilling. He was unwilling to put her to shame. But that's why the scripture say, resolve. He resolved to divorce this woman in a quiet way. Very, very quiet way that the family will come together. He will tell the family that this woman cannot marry her again because she already found her child. Thinking that Mary had cheated on him. In a very quiet way. That's why you're planning for him to do for this and friend to put them more aside and tell her family say no longer interested into the marriage because she already pregnant. <clears throat> she was already pregnant with this one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> but as he consider these things, you see, before we do things, we can be considering the thing in our mind. Mm, I want to do this, I want to do that. Before he was considering this thing in his mind to pull Mary the Virgin Mary away. Who are conceived by the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters. Why he considered the thing in his memory, brothers and sisters. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The angel appeared to him what? in a dream. Saying, Joseph, son of David. He said to him, Joseph, son of David. Do not fear to take Mary as your wife. For that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Do not be afraid to put Mary and do not put Mary aside. Do not be afraid to put Mary. Because whatsoever, do not put Mary aside, your wife. Because whatsoever she conceived with is from the Holy Spirit. It says she will bear a son. You shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people. From their sins. He said he would save his people from their sins. This is the, visit, the visitation of the Holy Spirit coming in his sleep to remind him. To tell that dream is very, very powerful. God speak to us in many ways. Why did the Holy Spirit not come directly to him and speak to him and tell him this wonderful vision or the message? But the Holy Spirit liked the way into his dream to tell him this dream, that how powerful dream is. He went to him and tell him his dream that do not put that woman away. Because whatsoever she is given in her womb is conceived by the Holy Spirit. His name will be called Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. That's why today we are saved by Christ Jesus. Blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary from our sins. Oh Lord help me. And all this took place to fulfill what the Lord has spoken. By the prophet. All these things came together to be fulfilled by the Lord that was spoken by the prophet. Hallelujah. Then I'll read for you Luke. Luke 2 7 said, And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in a swelling cloth. She gave birth to her first son, which was Jesus Christ. Oh Lord. And she wrapped him in a swelling cloth and laid him in a manger. The little baby in a manger, the little baby in a manger, the little baby in a manger, lying there for you and me, lying there for the white men sing, lying there for the black men sing, lying there for the horror. He was lying there for you and me, the little baby in a manger, the little baby in a manger. A little baby in a manger. He was lying there for you and me. He was lying there for the whole world's sin. Yes, he was lying there for the whole world's sin. He didn't need no sin. Thank you, Lord. He came to save us from our sin, to build relationship with our maker again, that will be destroyed by Adam and Eve, families and friends. <clears throat> Isaiah 7, 14 says, Therefore, the Lord Himself will give you a son. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and he shall you shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God is with us. You shall call his name Emmanuel, the Holy Spirit. He said there'll be a son. And he shall call his name Emmanuel. And 
For all, for unto us a child is born. A child is born. For unto all, us a child is given. Oh Lord, thank you for giving all your son, Jesus Christ, that came and died on a cross 2,000 years ago for the mission of our sin. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. The government of the whole wide world was upon the shoulder of Jesus Christ. He was carrying it everywhere he went, preaching his father war of his, his father kingdom that shall come on earth. Father God, let your kingdom come and let your will be done in our life. Let your kingdom come there. We'll be done in everything of us concerning our marriage and our health, our job, our finance. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord. As I now say, yet yeah. for unto is it the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. His name shall be called Wonderful consider brothers and sisters mm. mighty god everlasting father prince of peace that was his name that what he is brothers and sisters wonderful consider a mighty god everlasting father prince of peace that is he that is who you are that is who you are that is who you are. You are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. 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 You are my way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hallelujah. I'm going to read for you Isaiah. I'm going to read, I read uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And I'm going to read for you John 1, 14. Say, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. The word, the word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. As we have seen his glory. Glory as of what the only son from the father filled with grace and truth. The glory from the only father, God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac, filled with grace and truth on earth. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. I will read for you, Mika. Mika far to say, But you, oh Bethlehem, you are too little to be among the claim of Judea. From you shall come forth to for me one who is to be ruler of Israel, whose coming forth is from who coming forth is from of all from ancient days that the prophets Jeremiah the prophet Isaiah they spoke about Jesus Christ. Being born, foretold, it was foretold by the prophets before you were even born, many, many years before you were born. Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 say, Now, after Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem, Judea, he was born in Bethlehem, Judea, in the days of King Herod, Herod that came behold, the wise men came from the east. To Jerusalem, the wife may keep on the east to Jerusalem. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 38 says, On the sixth hour, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to go to a city. The angel Gabriel was sent to go to Galilee near Nazareth to a virgin who was betrothed to a man to be married. As Joseph was the man she was supposed to get married to. In the house of David, of the David lineage. The David lineage is always blessed, brothers and sisters. And the virgin name was Mary. And she came to her. She came. She came to her and said. <clears throat> and he came to her and said. Greeting, oh favor one. The angels came to Mary and tell her greeting. He was sent for Galilee. From Nazareth, in the time, to the time of Nazareth, to come to Mary to bring the good news of to her. And then he come and say, Greeting, O favor one. 
The Lord is with you. This heart he greeted her. Greeting of favor one. The Lord is with you. This how the angel greeted Mary. He said, but as she was great the trouble at the saying and try to discern what source of greeting this might be. She was thinking what is the meaning of this greeting from this person I came to visit. And the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. That's how the angel spoke to God. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 to 2 say, And after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod, brothers and sisters, as he said, Do not be afraid, Mary. I bring you good news of talent. So this day you will be, you conceive a child. The child will be called Jesus. And he will be the savior of the world. That is the good news. But as says, in six months time, he also traveled to go to Elizabeth, who was barren. Hallelujah. That she will bring forth a child. But as says, and that was John the Baptist. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The one that prepared when I was filled with the Holy Ghost. And then, brothers and sisters, in the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 26 to 38, he said, In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to the city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin name was Mary. And she came to her and said, He came to her and said, Greeting, O favor one, the Lord is with you. But she great, she was greatly troubled and said what she was trying to discern what source of greeting it was it might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, you have found favor with God. And now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, the wise men from the east came to Jerusalem saying, Where is he? Who has been born king of the Jews? They saw his star in the east and they followed the star and come to where the child was laying in the manger with his father, Joseph, and his mother. Hallelujah. To where the animals were. But also, so they came and brought gifts to this to this ball. The brand new baby ball. They brought gifts to the child. He said, in the days of Herod the king, behold, the wise men from the east to Jerusalem saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his stars in the what? When it rose and have come to worship him. We saw his star when it rose in the east and we came to worship this powerful king of the Jews. And have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all the Jerusalem with him, and assembled all the priests, the priests, the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them, where is the child to be from? <clears throat> where was it, the child born? He inquired from the priests and the scribes to tell them where Jesus Christ was born, the king of Jews, because he said the king. Of, of the Jews, it troubled him because he was a king. <clears throat> they told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for it was written by the prophet. They told him in Judea. But brothers and sisters, when he told him in Judea, he was making a plan for him to go and look for the ball. But before then, the angel spoke to the wise men. The same way they took to God was visit Jesus. They should not take that same way to go home. They should take another way to go home. And that night, the angel spoke to Joseph to tell him to take the child and the mother and go to Egypt because Pharaoh is looking for him to kill him. Yes. <clears throat> 
John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. His only begotten son that was born in this time, brothers and sisters, who was born through the Virgin Mary, born to where animal was, brothers and sisters, the king of the Jews was born to where animal lay. Oh Lord, he was a king. Father, thank you, Jesus. God could decide for him to be born in a palace, but God allowed him to be born to where animal was. Because what? there was no hotel that night for him to rush in when, when Mary was in pain. There was no hotel, there was no available place for her to for, for them to launch that night. <clears throat> he said, Also, ever believe you shall not pray, but have a last everlasting life. Matthew 1 21 said, She she will bear a son. The angel is still talking to her. And you shall call his name Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. You will bear for a son, his name will be called Jesus. You will call him Jesus, he shall save his people from their sins. Luke 2 21. And at the end of the eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. He was called Jesus because this is what the, the angel, this is the name the angel gave Mary that he will be called. No other name for his name will be called Jesus. From the womb, before he was even formed in the womb, that was his name that was given by him by the angel. John chapter 4. John 1 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The word is very, very powerful. In the beginning, the word was. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Thank you, Papa God. Thank you for your Word. The Word is He said. That's why the Word is powerful. He into His Word, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Luke 1 35 said, And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Because she said, how will she get a child when she have not getting with men? How was she born when she how was she born a child when she have not slept with men? And the angel describing how it will happen that the Holy Spirit will come upon her, that will overshadow her. <clears throat> Wherefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Matthew 1 20 says, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The angel has already <coughs> given the meaning of the name Jesus, then the meaning Emmanuel, which means God is with us, which means God coming in the name of flesh that is with us. I came as Jesus, the Savior of the world. <coughs> Luke 2 11 says, For unto us. Unto you is born this day in the city of David's Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Into the city of what? Of David, who is Christ the Lord. Genesis 4 4, Galatians 4 4 said, But when the fullness of time had come, God sent for his son, born of woman, born unto the Lord. Hallelujah. When the fullness of time came, Jesus Christ himself was born under the law. Hallelujah. He came to fulfill the law, not to abolish the law. He was born under the law as well. Matthew 1 18 said, Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in his in this way. When his mother Mary had betrothed to Joseph before they came together. She was formed with a child from the Holy Spirit. Before they came together, she was already formed with a child by the Holy Spirit that all shadow her and she conceived. Brothers and sisters, thank you, Jesus. Look to it say, in the same region there was shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over the flock. Mm -hmm. In that same region, 
there were the shepherds that were in the region that were also keeping watch for their sheep. Their flock by night. Romans says, 23 says, For the wish of sin is death, but the gift of God eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans uh, Luke 2 1 say, In those days, a decree went forth from Caesar Augustine that all the world should be, all should be registered. Caesar Augustine was the king in those days who made sure that the people pay their taxes from every country people used to go from the from the town to the other area to the city there to go and pay the tax as they went to pay the tax excuse me according to the town and the way i'm speaking to you i'm sorry they went to go pay the tax that sister augustine rules and laws that he passed but that everyone should register to pay the tax So this is when they went, Mary and Joseph went there to go pay the tax. This is where she was. In nine months, what pain got her brothers and sisters. There was nowhere for them to lunch in the hotel. When she was in pain, there were nowhere. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. Isaiah 9, 6-7 to seven say, For to us a child is born, for unto us a child is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. And of the increase of his government and of peace, there shall be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to what? Uphold it with justice and with what? Righteousness. To establish the kingdom of God, to uphold it with justice and righteousness. From this time, forth and forevermore, the zeal of the law of hosts will do this. Thank you, Jesus. This is the word of the Lord to you this evening, families and friends, as I bring the good news to you concerning the breath of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll read for the last scripture. It's taken from the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 20. It reads, in the days of a decree, when out from Caesar, Caesar Augustine, that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when the Quangrao's government of Syria well, and all went to be registered, each of his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called birth to him because he was of the host of the lineage of david to be reconciled with mary his patron who was with a child thank you jesus they went to judea to go and go pay the tax by caesar augustine the passive rule that people could go pay the taxes so joseph took his weapon and go and pay the tax every year they do it but this is why jesus christ was born in birth to him this is where she got in pain, and then there were no, she got in labor. There were no hotel, no room. She had to deliver in where the animals, they were keeping animals. So blessed be the name of the Lord that Jesus Christ has been born into this world. He that need no sin to come and save the world from our sins. So we cannot continue to live in sin that grace may abound because Jesus Christ came for sin, not righteous. So Father, I just want to say thank you. I bless you for your word. I have come forth to your people. Let me. Let it be the hero in the door of your word of God. Thank you that I will decree you go and increase all the time on the stage. Trusting God in our generation of our as your word will go. That God will trust you in our generation. We got no one else to trust for you. So help us to trust you. No matter the circumstances, be it good or bad. You say we should give it thanks in all things. This is your way concerning us in Christ Jesus. So help us, Lord God, to always give you thanks to be grateful for everything you have blessed us with. I want to honor your name and glorify your name as I come to the end of this session of the of the teaching this evening, may God bless you, uphold you, keep you in this December month and in a celebration that is that we are going on with the breath and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He says, alive, therefore not going captive. He's coming back again for the church with us for wrinkle or blemish. Let us get ourselves prepared. Let us surround us. Let us repent of our sins every day because our God is a merciful God. 
And so, Father, I take, thank you and bless you in your honor your name to take your glory and bless the heart of your people as a war has come forth to them this evening. Let them be the dwarf in the year of God. I take, thank you and I bless your name, O God. Take your glory now and have your way, even as it will be done. Now and forevermore. This is my prayer. We have come into us in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The closely prayer is taken from the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. I say, mm -hmm. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make a face to shine upon you. May He be gracious unto you and give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. Only He can give that peace. His peace that surpasses all understanding be with you and I and our family and our children and our grandchildren from January to December. He has been good to all. He stayed good and he's so faithful. He's going to do magnificent things for us in 2024. Let us just pray and seek his face and live according to his principle. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.